I usually get called a girl, so that's one reason I wanted to come along here. We were friends. Oh, okay. like, oh, I thought you were a girl when I first started this stuff. Welcome back to Pineapple World, where your journey matters. I'm Activerse, your host with the most banger videos on YouTube. Today, I'm gonna be interviewing Gunther the Great's son, Kellen the Great. We chose Kellen the Great to be on this channel because he has a journey to tell. As many of you know, being young and having dreadlocks is pretty hard because your parents may not allow you to do it, or you don't know how to do it, you don't have the tools, the money, or anything like that. So Kellen the Great will be breaking down the struggles that he went through before starting his journey, while he's starting his journey, and also where he's gonna be headed. And after this interview, actually, I ended up dyeing his dreadlocks purple. And if you guys wanna see the whole video, go to Activerse that we'll be dropping next week on Tuesday at 2 p.m. And if you guys want to be featured on this channel, it's pretty easy. Just share your journey either on our Facebook groups, which has about 100 people now. And also, we do a daily feature on Pineapple World Instagram where we share your account, your picture on our story so that everybody can see what your journey is looking like currently. This whole channel is for you guys, so don't worry. It's not going to be me talking. Here is Kellen breaking down how he started his dreadlocks, what type of hair he has, the struggles that he had. But yeah, I'm going to quit talking and I'm going to let him do the talking. So my name is Kellen, my YouTube name is Kellen the Great. My pops used the instant art method. So now I am able to do it, but when it was down to that, like that was my first time, didn't have experience with it. So he did it and yeah, I didn't really help him. Yes. But now I do my hair myself. Yeah, I have a high top. Cause the first time I cut my hair, I didn't, I didn't get a high top. Second time I did. I think I'm a two. My hair is not like super curly. It gets more curlier at the end, like the day. Well, because my mom is Mexican, I guess I took her side of hair. There's a couple people that like, I look at their dreads and it's like, I want that kind of hair. Like first off, like, um, his name is Anneli Chapa. Okay. His, his dreads are just crazy good. Mm. Um, I like all the colors he does. Like some of the colors, like, um, I did my hair blue because of him. Like, um, and then the rapper, his name is Lil Uzi. Uh, I think he actually put his dress back in, mm -hmm. but his dress are nice too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, people like them. It's like I look at their dress and I want them. And like I, I always knew like I'm not gonna be able to have dress like them because mm -hmm. they obviously have like a super tight curl pattern. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they're my inspiration really. I started my dreadlock journey. Um, I think it was the beginning of 2021, before school. And at that time, I was doing online school, so I was at home. So we started school late. And then I cut my hair. I had cut my hair, and it was a big thing, too. Mm -hmm. Cut my long hair. And then one day, I was just like, I want to get dreads. I was like, Pops, can you give me dreads? He was like, are you sure? And I, like, knowing what dreads are, like, can't you just take them out any day? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I'm sure. And I got them. So I think it's been, like, 10 months, 11 months, so. OK. Yeah. So this is my, um, I believe this is my 12 month. So it's been oh. a year. Because um, how I grew, my, how my hair grows, like some of the hair grows out. And like, so some of the dreads I have like combined. So I've had more dreads than I have now. So I combined some of them. Well, I, everywhere I would go, I usually get called a girl. So that's one reason I wanted to come along here. Cause when I had long hair, it was like right here, <laughs> and then like um yeah. So like I didn't have stuff to do. Like I would get braids, mm -hmm. and then like wear them for a week, and they'll get so messy. And then like my mom didn't want to redo them, so I like I, don't, I started wearing my hair in a bun, cause like I didn't want to wear my hair out mm -hmm. since I was like um seven, seven, seven or eight, thirteen, seven point oh um, yeah, thirteen, seven, thirteen. So like five years, my hair was like I think it was sixteen inches long. So yeah, I always get called like, like I look. Oh, you look like a girl. You look like a girl. We were friends. Oh, okay. like, oh, I thought you were a girl when I first started this stuff. I mean, I didn't really care what they said. Obviously, just like I didn't let them bother me. But cause I didn't cut my hair just cause of that. Like I'm like when I got my hairline and everything, like I, I liked it. But like I always just wanted to cut my hair. When I was younger, I never had like super long hair. 
I just have long, way short hair. Like my short, my hair was like super short, like buzz cut almost. So like the first, I can say four months, I didn't like um. That everyone thought I would, like looked super different. It was a big transformation. Yeah. Going from long hair and me, and then we were going like short dreads. Like I guess I can say um, I didn't like them really. Like because because of my hair type, it was kind of hard for them to get mature and like stay constantly maintain them. So they looked super messy. They didn't really look like dreads. It was just hair. So I didn't, I can say I didn't really like them. Everyone liked them, but I was like I was almost to a point where I just wanted to take them out. And yeah, I just waited. I think I bleached my hair three times and colored it twice. Oh, I didn't really like my dreads. Okay. So it's like I didn't really care, mm -hmm. and I thought like dyeing would make it look better, but like it didn't really do it anything. So I just I, I dyed it once and it didn't work. So it was just bleached hair, and then I was just like um I didn't really like it. But then my hair started getting better and better. And then I really wanted to dye it, and then it looked super good. Okay. So yeah, I like dyed my hair. Well, it was three. I dyed it three times. I've dyed it red. Mm -hmm purple and blue. I mean, I can say like, they're gonna get better too. That's cause I was, like, I made a good decision, just wait. Cause they grew up really, really good. Cause like when I got them, they were just fat clump of hair. But they look really good now. I haven't really thought about it yet. I just don't wanna get, let it get like super, super, super long. Probably like, to like right here. On the back one's already too there. Uh -huh. So it's so, like, yeah, I'm probably gonna trend them. I haven't thought about cutting them off yet. Okay. We gotta see how they grow. If you want, like, if your parents won't let you get them, I mean, like, you just want, if you really want them, you'll, like, you can keep, you don't wanna keep asking, but just always keep it in your mind, really. And, like, if you have straight hair deluxe, and, like, you don't think they look good, just let them grow. Cause, like, I was, I literally almost cut it myself. I was so mad at them, they didn't look good, they're ugly. But I let them grow and they got better. You gotta maintain them. If you really want dreads, you're gonna maintain them. Take care of them. So yeah, take care of your hair if you want to get your look.